ejjew mhux aħna ħanamlu l-affarijiet imma l-Ispirtu Santu għax l-Ispirtu Santu huwa ħaj huwa ħaj l-Ispirtu Santu l-Istas Spirtu Qadis li ħajjam l-Kristu mil-Mew jinsab fiku jinsab fija aħna l-Knisja mhux il-ġabel aħna l-Knisja jina wint il-Knisja Alleluja, thank you Jesus Daw kolla li jishtiju jina du mana u nek Ejjew, għad kienu tafu minu veramen ġessu ġessu mu mis ġessu tal istatwi ġessu mu mis ġessu li tassanti tal istampi ġessu kristu u għaj Thank you Jesus Alleluja, thank you Lord Jesus Anka daw kolla li jadija rawna Daw kolla li jishtiju jatu ħajjitu għam il-mulej ġessu Għajdu nire talba warajja Missir Qaddis Jina naċċettak fħajti Nitol bok taħt fil-lidnu bitti kwalla mulej Jina niċħat l-ċċitaħan U tlellix kollu tija U jina naċċettak mulej Għalassit u s-salvatur tal-ħajja tijaj Itħol fħajti mulej ġessu Naddafni mulej Naddafni biddem tija Aħsilni biddem tija mulej U hu kontrol ta' ħajti ġesu Millu min uddim irrit nob di lilek mulej Marrit xejn fil-ħajja, marrit lilek mulej Eka jduwa min qalbkom di l-talba U verament il-mulej ġesu Ikun il-sijt u s-salvatur tija Hallelujah, thank you Jesus Thank you Lord Jesus Ej, dillom da' ħerġet il-fadr Hi everyone, we came in Valletta to tell you that Jesus loves you, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. He came on earth. He is God that came in flesh because he loved you. He came to die on a cross. Jesus Christ came to die on a cross because he loved you. When you were dead in your sins, when you were guilty, full of shame, of condemnation, God came in the person of Jesus Christ to die for you on the cross. I'm sure everyone has heard about Jesus. Everyone has heard about God. But believing just the fact that God exists does not give you a ticket to heaven, does not give you any hope, does not give you any love. Because God says that salvation comes by believing that Jesus died on the cross for your sin. You can only be forgiven if you believe in what Jesus did on the cross for you. There was no other way for humankind to be forgiven because sin separates us from God. And Jesus Christ came on earth to remove our sins so that we could be reconciled to God. It was the only way. You cannot get to heaven by doing good works. Good deeds will not get your ticket to heaven. It doesn't matter what a good person you are. It doesn't matter what a good lifestyle you have, how many people you have, and all of that. You can only be reconciled to God by the blood of Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ never sinned. And he was the only one who could live a perfect life, sinless.
this life that we could never do without him. And by what he did on the cross, he did this exchange. He took your sinful nature, my sinful nature, and he gave us his righteous, holy nature so that we could be reconciled with God the Father. Religion will never get you to heaven. It doesn't matter how many times you go to church. It doesn't matter how many money you gave to church, to priests, to whatever you want. That will not get you to heaven. You will never be forgiven by that. It's only by the blood, by the sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross. He was forced, he was beaten for you and me. He experienced separation from God because of my sin and because of your sin. And on the third day, after being, after being crucified, he resurrected. So he's not dead anymore. That's why he can be your savior. That's why he's able to save us. Because he is not subject to death anymore. He defeated death. He defeated the power of hell. He defeated the power of sin. He defeated disease and sickness and death in any shape or form. So I'm asking you today, are you sure about your eternity? Because your life here on this earth, it's just, it's just for now, you don't know where it's going to end. You don't have the assurance of tomorrow. You can do whatever you want today, but what if tomorrow never comes? You can do as many things as you want to cover your despair, to cover your depression, to feel good about yourself, to feel happy, to feel fulfilled. But at the end of the day, you know in your heart that you can never be good enough because it's only by Jesus Christ who died on the cross for you so that you could be saved. It's only by the blood of Jesus Christ, God, who died on the cross and resurrected on the third day for you and me to be saved. This is the only gospel. This is the only truth. And you cannot say that you have another truth because truth is absolute. Truth is not relative. That's why there can't be more religions that are true. There's no religion that can save you. Only Jesus Christ saves you. All the other religions tell you what you have to do in your word, in your deeds, and in your strength to get forgiven by God and accepted by God. But Christianity tells you that you can never do anything to deserve God's love because God's love is through Jesus Christ by believing in Jesus Christ. Amen. So if you believe today in Jesus Amen. Christ, you can be saved now without doing anything. Because your word Hallelujah. and your deeds can never be good Amen. enough. Your heart can never be good enough unless you give your life to Jesus and Jesus gives you a new heart. Your conscience can never be clean enough unless you give your life to Jesus and he gives you a new conscience and he changes you from inside out. It's not about habit. It's not about habit. It's not about the good thing to do again. I'm saying the same thing because this is the gospel. You have to believe in the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross. I lived in depression for so many years to the point that I thought about death and I thought that my life doesn't have any purpose on this planet and that life would be just better off without me. And I would cry every evening because at the end of the day when I would be home I would have to face myself and I hated myself. 
and my life never changed until I received what Jesus Christ did for me on the cross. Until I received him in my life and I prayed, Lord God, I don't know you, I don't understand what Christianity is about. I've heard many things about you, but I never had a relationship with you. But today I decide to give my life to you. My life looks like a mess. I feel like a mess. I hate myself and I hate my life. But I give it to you because I know that you can do something better. That you can restore my life. You can give me that joy and happiness that is not dependent on the circumstances. You can give me fulfillment and satisfaction that I could never get from anyone from anywhere. And when I did that prayer, when I said that prayer, my life changed. And my depression left, and my anxiety left, and my fear left, and all the things that I was struggling with. God set me free. Because it's only the truth of Jesus Christ that died on the cross for you that sets you free. And you can never be free without Jesus if you think that you can be free and that you live free. Now, you're lying to yourself. You're living a lie because you cannot be free without Jesus. You're still bound to addictions and to your habits and to the things around you and to people's opinions about you validation and all kind of stuff you can never be free without Jesus Christ but he came to set you free Jesus came to set you free and he doesn't the, the, the good thing is that he doesn't just want to get you to heaven he doesn't just want to give you eternal life but he wants to give you abundant life here on earth Amen. because he is able and he is Lord above everything Hallelujah. So if you just surrender your life to Jesus, He can touch every area of your life. He can get involved in every area of your life. He can bring provision in every area of your life. He can bring healing in your body and healing in your mind. He can rescue you from depression and anxiety and suicidal thoughts. He can free you from addiction. You don't have to live bound in addiction. You don't have to be living as a pervert because Jesus can save you from all of that. If you're confused about your sexuality and about your gender, Jesus can heal that confusion as well. He's able to do everything. Because he loves you. It's not because of any other thing, but because he loves you. That's why he came on this earth to save you. He doesn't need us as God because he's God, right? But he wanted us. He wanted a family. He wanted us as his children. There's hope for you in Jesus. There are things that you are struggling with that you know you're going to face again when you go home and you are by yourself or you're in your family and you know that you have to face them again because they don't live by themselves they don't solve by themselves and you know you go home and you know what's going to await for you when you when you hit the pillow you know all the thoughts you know the turmoil that you're going through you know that you cannot sleep at night properly you know the dreams that you have you know the problems that you have and you can never solve them by yourself. But Jesus can. Jesus Christ can. And he is just one prayer away. That's the good news. You don't have to do anything to receive Jesus, but open your heart. So today, if you're under my voice and you hear this message, Maybe you're embarrassed to approach us. Maybe you're embarrassed to go to a church or maybe you're embarrassed to do things, but you don't have to do anything. Just open your heart wherever you are and pray. Lord Jesus, I believe that you are God who came on earth and died on the cross for my sins to be forgiven, for me to receive eternal life. I believe that. And I believe that she died 
and resurrected on the third day, so you are alive today. I believe that with my heart. And Lord, I receive your forgiveness. I accept your forgiveness. I receive your love. I receive your joy. I receive your peace. He is able to give you peace. There's no peace in this world, proper peace. There's only things that look like peace, counterfeit peace. Because you can never have peace without God. And you know that. You may hang out with people and go to specific events to feel good about yourself. But again, when you face yourself, you know what you lack in your heart. You know the emptiness of your heart. And Jesus Christ is able to give you peace so that you could live in rest. So come to Jesus Christ today. He loves you. He wants to restore your life. He wants to give you new life. You don't have to live as a victim in this world. You don't have to live as a victim in this life. But it's a choice. And you may ask why there's so much suffering and evil in the world if God is so loving. But the answer is, it's because he's given us free will. Because there can't be genuine love without free will. We would just be robots. So God gave us free will and he was like, decide, you can love me or you can love me not. I cannot force you to love me because love cannot be forced. You cannot force love on anyone. And you know that because in your relationships you don't want your, your friends or your family to be forced to love you. You want genuine love. You, love. you want love that comes from a pure heart and an honest heart. And that's why God gave us free will. And that's why there's evil and suffering in the world. Because God gave us free will because he loves us. But in our free will, we decided to turn to sin and to all kinds of stuff that are not from God. And that's why suffering entered the world. That's why death entered the world. That's why all these dark things entered the world. And pain. And you know, all these kind of things that come to your mind when you think about the fact that God is not loving and God is not good, why children die because of hunger and all of that, it's because of sin, it's because of the fallen world, it's because of what we chose as people to do with our free will that God gave us because he loved us. But Jesus Christ came on a cross to set things right. He came to bring salvation to the earth. And you can decide today where you're going to spend eternity. Because God cannot force you to go to heaven. God inv invites you and he's, he's telling you that the way to heaven is by Jesus. Amen. There's no other religion that can take you to heaven. Because there's no other truth. What other religion sends of God to die for you? What other religion tells you that God loves you? All the other religions tell you that you have to do and to do and to do that and not to do that. It's about your words. But Jesus tells you that it's about faith. Jesus tells you that you have to believe that he died and resurrected on the third day. Because if that's true, he died, he defeated death, he defeated sin, he defeated everything. And there's no other religion that tells you that. So it's your choice today. You can go home being a forever changed person. Or you can go home today the same, hopeless and lost and bound in fear and shame. You know that Jesus died on the cross naked. I don't know what pictures and movies you saw, but he died on the cross naked. And you know why? He died naked because he took your shame on his
And you know why Jesus, you know why Jesus was beaten up? Of course, before he was crucified. You know why? Because he died for your sickness, so that you would not have to go through it then again. So come to Jesus today. He is able to save you. And He loves you. It doesn't matter what you did. It doesn't matter what you did. There is salvation for you in Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter what you did. There is salvation for you in Jesus Christ. Because he loves you. If you accept his sacrifice, if you accept what he did on the cross for you, if you accept his forgiveness, he says that he will forget everything you did. He will choose not to remember because he loves you. Because he loves you, Jesus Christ loves you. If that was faith, we would not stand here today and waste our time. If that was faith, we would just be foolish and on the earth would be hopeless and lost. There's no hope if Jesus didn't die on the cross and be the resurrection. But there is hope because he conquered death. He defeated death. And he made a way for all of you out here to be saved if you believe in Jesus Christ.
Catholicism or Orthodoxism or Islam or Hindu will never save you. God wants a relationship. God wants a relationship. As you have a relationship with your friend, with your mom, or with your dad, there's a relationship that you can have with Jesus Christ because he is alive. He is real. He sees you and he knows you. Everything about you. He knows you better than you know yourself. And that's the reason why you, can, you, you should not be ashamed to come to Jesus. It doesn't matter what you did in this life. It doesn't matter what a bad person you were. Preach it, bro. He can come to Jesus today to receive eternal life and be saved. He can restore your life. He can take you out of all the confusion and fear and intimidation and manipulation and witchcraft and false idols of God. He can save you today. There's no other God but Jesus Christ. Come to Jesus Christ today. I am just going to pray for all of you here who are under the sound of my voice. Many of you will never stop here to speak to us. But you can go home and you can pray even now and you walk your heart because God hears your heart. God knows you. There's nothing hidden from God. So you can pray. Jesus Christ, I believe that you are God who came on this earth to die for my sins. I believe in the sacrifice that you did for me on the cross. I believe with my heart that you died and resurrected on the third day so that I would be saved. And I receive your forgiveness. I receive your love. And I receive eternal life. And I choose to walk with you from now on. I choose to live for you. And I let you save me from all my efforts to save myself because I can never save myself. I choose to renounce all idols. I choose to renounce addiction. I choose to renounce fear and pornography and lies and deceit and manipulating people. I choose to renounce all of that. And I choose you, Jesus, because you are the only Savior. And I thank you for loving me before I love you. Thank you. Thank God. Hallelujah. Men are Mike. Me I am. I just as you please come to Mike. As your Mike, head off. Short they are out. Uh, she can uh, uh, powerful uh, in my control of the speaker. No, I have to mention No, no, because of the voice. Pain, pain, pain. Why am I here to talk to you about the supernatural? Because we are living in a society where everything is about wonder this, super that, super that, and everyone is fascinated about the supernatural. And the word that came, the word that came to me today is. Why are we so fascinated about this? Why are we so fascinated about the supernatural? Why do we want to know more? And are we really, really, really seeing the truth of the supernatural? Well, I have a little story first before I move on. And the story is regarding an engagement ring. So if today your future husband gives you 
a ring, an engagement ring, or maybe you got it 30 years ago, this engagement ring, and you find out one fine day that this engagement ring is a, is a fake. I don't have one, but I'm just pretending I have one right now. And you're pretending, and, and you find out that it's a fake. How would you feel about this? That what was given to you was fake. So, I mentioned the supernatural and a fake ring. Put them together. This is exactly what is happening in society today. We are being taught what is fake. Because the only true engagement ring is the Holy Spirit. It was promised to us in the book of Corinthians. You can read it for yourself. That the, the Holy Spirit comes like an engagement ring. I'm here today to invite you today. That if you truly want the true engagement ring, if you truly want the true supernatural, not the fake one, not the people that say that they see the dead and they tell you your future and your past and all your dirt and whatever they're trying to tell you and they're trying to hook you in, that is not the Holy Spirit, that is not Jesus Christ. Come to Jesus today before it's too late. Come to the one true living God. Only the Holy Spirit is the true revealer of the truth. Come and receive the true engagement ring. He is the most beautiful. He is the most precious. There is no other except the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. My brother just talked about deceivement and your free will. Yes, you have a free will and only you can step into God's free will. The Lord Jesus Christ is a gentleman. He's not going to force you. He's not going to make you. But he is knocking on your door. And today, are you willing to hear the truth? Lord God, right now, I pray that this veil, that this darkness Jesus loves is broken you. in Jesus' name. Because if you cannot hear the truth, if you cannot see the truth, only the Holy Spirit can make you see the truth. And that is what I wish to share with you today. And there is no excuses as I shared yesterday in our community. I accepted Jesus Christ in Spanish. I don't understand Spanish and it's not my first language. But I understood everything and because I wanted the Lord God, I was seeking after Him and I wanted to know the truth. I accepted Him and my life has never been the same. I am no longer the same. I only pro proclaim the Lord Jesus Christ. Only He moves and breathes within my, within my being, within my family. And that is what I want to share with you today. So I encourage you. Come, let us pray with you. Come and listen to, 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 this, to this message. Because only Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. Thank you. Preach it in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Next, hey. Ah, di anni, no? Ma lascio un pesce. 
Ciao, God bless you, grazie sister. Good afternoon, Bel Valletta. Third June 2023. Today it's called the present because it is a precious gift from God. We have breath in our lungs. We have power to walk. We have a grace to be alive today. We have been given money to enjoy them to visit places to visit places to buy things that gives us satisfaction and God loves that but he wants something from you he wants to have a relationship with you he loves you so much that 2000 years ago he came in form of men in the person of Jesus Christ to reveal the Father, the one who created the heavens and the earth. You are a spiritual being and you have a soul, my friends. The mind, the character and your attitude and this body is temporary. There is a battle for your soul, my friends. And God wants your soul. And the devil wants your soul too, my friends. We decide where our soul stands. God gave us everything. Holidays, restaurants, sports, jobs. He gave us everything to enjoy them, not to be filled with them. There is a place in our heart, in our body, that can only be filled by God. But most persons are filled that place with things that are there to be enjoyed only and not to be filled with them. That's why many people have positions, careers, and when they get fired, they get depressed because they build their identity on an accountancy, on a farmer, on a lawyer. Name them. There are many job positions. And when something arises or that person gets sick, depression hits, even with sports. I do sports, I used to call myself triathlete one day. I know many footballers with, that when they retire, that when they exceed the age of 36 or 37, and they do not continue to do what they used to do, they end up in depression because they based, they based their identity on a footballer, but God, it's running after you, 2023, not to base your identity on a job position, on what you do on sports, or someone who is followed on Instagram or Facebook. God wants you to call him father. 
in 2023, his message has not changed. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Society may have changed. They are removing the God of the Bible, the one who bred in our mother's womb and gave us life. Our soul is a bread from God. It is the same word in Hebrew, Ruach. It means bread, it means spirit. God wants to have a relationship with you, my friend, because heaven is a prepared place for prepared people only, my friends. How can you go to heaven without accepting the sacrifice made on the cross 2,000 years ago? when Jesus Christ offered himself for the sins of humanity, that is called the greatest love story written with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because we all have sinned, we all have turned away. We all laugh when we mention sin, because sin is pleasurable. And I used to laugh to make sins. I used to love sins. I used to fornicate with many women every day and that's enjoyable but too much sin will lead you to death my friends and God is so rich in mercy that he sent me today to speak about him because many know that there is a God but they do not know him he wants to know you. He knows everything about you. He knows every, everything about your struggles. He knows everything about your sicknesses, about your addictions. Look at this woman shaking her head, but God loves her. He sent me and she sees me as foolish. And when she appears in front of God in eternity this morning, he will tell her, I was speaking from that man's mouth, but you told him that he is foolish. We will all appear in front of God one day. You can call him father only if you accept Jesus Christ, because the truth came, the truth is a person. Jesus Christ said he is the way, he is the truth, and he is life and no one can go to the Father. Expect through the name of Jesus Christ. When you accept Jesus Christ into your life, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free, my friends. The word of God is Jesus Christ incarnate 2000 years ago. He told us, what will happen what will happen from before there is nothing hidden there is creation written here where men fell from god there is everything when we die we will not cease to exist and failing to recognize what christ did for you on the cross the bridge to heaven the bridge to god your bridge to call god father you will face a holy, righteous God and he will be the righteous judge because man was not created to die but when sin entered humanity man started to die for the wages of sin is dead, God said that's why humanity are dying they chose rebellion because the devil exists Satan exists and he tries to stop us from preaching the message of the cross so that we can cross to God. He tries to hinder us from speaking the message of God to you. The only way to inherit eternal life, when you receive a gift, you cannot pay for it. That's why Jesus went to die on the cross to pay the penalty of our sins because we all have sinned and have fallen short of the glorious standard of God. 
and the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, the one who opened all his hands and he said, it is finished, it is paid in full. That is the love of God. He came in human form 2,000 years ago in Jerusalem, in Bethlehem, Ephrata, Israel to pay the penalty of our sins, to make a way for us seniors to bridge the gap between man and God. And he divided the wall. There was a wall between us and God. We could not reach God in any way because we all have lied, cheated, stole, made sex outside of the holy sacrament of marriage. We all did this, and God is holy. His throne is not made of righteousness and justice, and He is majestic in His holiness. He cannot look at sin. That's why His Son went to the cross to be punished instead of us. His blood went out all. He was punished. His breath was blocked out for our iniquities. He offered himself. They did not kill him. That is the love of God, and he has not changed. Politicians are trying to remove the word of God away to become gods, exactly like Satan told them in the garden. I will open your eyes, and you will be like gods. And everyone has become a god today. I, I, I. Me, me, me! And no one has chance, no one has chance to say thank you to God for his bread. No one has chance to thank God for his life. Everyone take it for granted. Everyone pays for his holidays. And God gave you an assurance, an assurance that when you accept Jesus Christ into your life, your last breath here will be the next breath in His presence. You made an assurance about your home. You made an assurance about your car. You made an assurance about the sofa that your kids dream on. But you are rejecting the assurance of your soul, my friends. Salvation is a gift. You are saved by grace through faith in the cross of Jesus Christ and not by works, my friends. Politicians will not be saved for doing charity to Potino cares and they corrupt the word of God that can give you life. When you accept Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit comes to live inside of you and you will be made a new creation. Behold, all things pass away. Behold, all things become new. When you accept Jesus Christ into your heart, that's why God came in the form of man. Jesus Christ is the expressed image of the invisible God. In him all the God bodily dwells, Father, Son, Spirit, he didn't stay dead. After three days, he rose up, as the scriptures say, as history says. And he ascended to heaven, where he was at the right hand of the Father. And today he is speaking from my foolish mouth, because I do not know how to speak his word, but he knows it. That is why the word is alive, active, and powerful. It divides soul and spirit to the division of joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts of the wicked man and the attitudes of the heart. That's why politicians are running away to put their laws and they are putting the decrees of God away. But God is not silent, my friends. God is coming soon.
God incarnate and he obeyed all the commandments of God and 600 other 13 Jewish laws for you and for me. He went miracles, he did miracles all his life. He forgave the sins when he was alive. He showed us that he was God, my friends. Even history tells us that Jesus existed. The annals of Tacticus, a Roman historian. Some of us, the Greek satirists, go and search history that Jesus existed. He was killed. His tomb is empty. Go to Jerusalem. Grab a flight today with Ryanair, 20 euro flight, and go, he, see, his grave empty. He rose up in glory, and he is coming again soon. He gave us the signs of his coming, and the signs of his coming are all here, my friends. And he said, when every eye will see him, those who do not know him, their heart will stop with fear and trembling because they did not know they didn't love the truth because they believed lies only the truth is here my friends God loves you his thoughts are more than the grain of the sands for you he knows the very hairs of your head but he cannot intervene on your free will. He is waiting for you to go to him. He is waiting the relationship with him. He gave you a free will to choose. Choose light over darkness. Choose life over death. Choose Jesus over the devil. Choose the truth over lies. Choose this day who you will serve. For me and my house, we serve the living Lord, the one who created the heavens and the earth, the one who was in the beginning, the one who knows the end from the beginning, the one who went to hell and grabbed the keys and now holds the keys of death and hell. His name is Jesus. He is the wonderful counselor. He is the Prince of Peace. In this world, where you will have tribulation, but in Him you will have peace only, my friend. You will not have it in a man. You will not have it in a woman. You will not have it in the next holiday. You will not have it in the sports. You will not have it in the television. In Him you will have peace. Amen. He is the way. He is the truth. And He is life. The truth came into the world, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son for whoever believes. Your beliefs govern where you go. Whoever believes on him will not perish will not live separation from God, but inherit eternal life. For God came into the world not to condemn it, but the world by Him must be saved. Only by Jesus Christ. Jesus For the light came into the world and darkness comprehended not light because their darkest deeds are evil and light exposes evil. Hallelujah! The word of God is alive. It is powerful. It is active. It is a tool to the world and the division between God and man is sin. And why? How do we know there is sin? It is by the law of God. For sin is the transgression of the law. But God came into the world not to condemn the world, but to love it, to pay the penalty for our sins. 
He wants us to have eternal life. That's God's love through me, my friend. God so loves you. God so loves you. Mas, por exemplo, 
الاطفال مويش فير 100% مويش فير مويش فير اتشو تشا باش قال لسه ما عشان السوق كله يكمل طريقه حتى الانترنت راح طريقه مش عارف
Alleluia. We praise the name of Jesus, the one who made a way to the Father, the one who came, who was sent by God 2,000 years ago. God sent His only and begotten Son, the one and only, the name above all names, 2,000 years ago as a man, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Father sent him, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son to us. He offered him to us. For whoever believes on him should not perish, but inherit eternal life, my friends. Salvation where we get the world salt, S-A-L, salt that gives taste to food. The word salvation is inherited by grace, my friends. It is a gift. We are saved by grace. Grace is a merit. When you get the gift, you do not pay for it. And salvation is a gift. God is offering His Son for you to get the gift of eternal life. It was paid 2,000 years ago by Jesus Christ. For we are saved by grace through faith and faith in the works of Jesus on the works of the cross. The cross, the gap between man and God. There was no bridge between us and God 2,000 years ago. But God sent His Son and He even changed the calendars. That's why it's 2,023 years ago because Jesus Christ changed the calendar years. It was in the Jewish calendar year is 5,873 today because they didn't recognize Jesus Christ. But it's for us, it's 2023 AD. Anno Dominus, the great year of the Lord. Because God came in the form of man into our realm because he lives outside of time and he paid the penalty that's it, that is hanging on our heads. He paid the penalty of our sins, so whoever believes on him will, ma will make a transfer. We will be called righteous instead of sinners. We do not sin and become sinners. Our nature, our nature is sinful because the first man, Adam, sinned from the beginning he chose disobedience he chose rebellion he chose lies he chose cheating he chose abortion and we still see it today 2023 the nature of man cannot be changed but when you accept jesus christ into your heart the holy spirit comes to live inside of you my friends and he will give you another nation, nature. You will be born again by the spirit, by the seed of God, the incorruptible one, and not by the sperm of man. The sperm of man is corruptible. That's why we are sinners and we sin. And that's why Jesus Christ went to the cross and he was punished for our iniquities. He was crushed. Because we used to turn away from God and our good deeds are as filthy rags to God. We cannot buy God by deeds and think that we will go to heaven. Heaven is a prepared place for prepared people. When you accept Jesus Christ into your heart, you start to do works from salvation. 
Because salvation is a free gift, my friend. If you think you are saved by works and remove what God did for you, you are telling God, Jesus Christ died for nothing, my friend. The problem of people today with God, it's morality. That's why we see him as policemen. That's why we run when someone preaches God. That's why we run, but he loves you. He loves me. He loves everyone. He hates sin. When you accept him into your heart, you will start to see from his lens. You will start calling what is right, right, and what is bad, bad, because humanity are calling what is bad, right, and what is right, bad, my friend. They cannot discern what is good, and only God is morally qualified to define what is good and what is bad. That's why politicians are removing the God of the Bible away. That's why Christianity is being thrown away in every country. That's why Christianity is the only relationship with God being persecuted and men being thrown into jail because of the name of Jesus Christ. Because politicians are empowered by Satan. They love darkness and light came into the world. Jesus Christ said, I am the light of the world and those who walk with me will never walk in dark again and you will start to know what is good for your life for you will know the truth for Jesus Christ said that he is the truth and the truth will set you free the truth is a person, the truth is this book you will start to see from his land my friends that is the message of Jesus and he has nothing against you he is running after your soul for you to be saved that is the love of the Father. He punished the Son instead of punishing us because we could not reach God. If you want prayers, if you want healings, God still heals today. God still talks today. God still gives dreams today. God still gives vision today. We see miracles every day in His name. In the name of Jesus Christ, we see healings. We see miracles, we see the supernatural because God is alive and he is on his throne, my friends. If you want to know more, we have the fear of God, we will not preach ourselves. We have the fear of God and he is seeing us today. And we are accountable for every word we say because we will all appear in front of him for it is appointed for men once to die and after this the judgment for God will judge the world for he has appointed the day that he will judge the world in righteousness if you want to know what God did for you and for me come to speak with us God offered himself to give us eternal life that is the insurance of your soul. Jesus Christ is the insurance, not from Atlas, not from Elmo, not from Gazan. You can see it here by a relationship with God. The Lord bless you, Belvaleta, and the Lord keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you to know the truth. And the Lord lift up his countenance towards you. And the Lord gives you his peace, his shalom peace. God bless you. Let the name of Jesus Christ be glorified in Malta, in Valletta, and all the world. For he is the way, he is the truth, and he is life. Hallelujah.